Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel guys. Um, so if you watched our last video, we bought um, something to do a lip for the RS. And so here's the RS right now. It looks so much better with the coils on it. It looks a lot lower. Hell yeah. So what we're going to be doing is doing a lip. It's a kind of a do-it-yourself kind of lip using other resources. So what we're gonna be using is garage door seal. Um, so me and Johnny have done this before. We've done it on the Impreza. And that was before we started YouTube. And it's really simple, I'll show you guys how to do it. So me and Johnny got the, let's see, what was it? It was the 16 length, right there. <laughs> it's not gonna focus. But anyways, we got the 16th length. And yeah, so let's go do the, Let's pull the car in. Yo, what's up? So here is the uh, garage door sill. So let's open this up real quick. Let me show you guys how it looks. And so it comes with these as well. They're like little screws with washers on them. And then, yeah. And then, how, here's how it looks. So, I'll show you guys how we're going to be doing this right now. But, this is basically how it looks. And the tools that you'll need, if you're deciding to put um, holes in your bumper, you're going to need a drill. And then the extension. And then me and Johnny use self-tapping screws. We use the uh, three-fourths and they are really good. So far we had no problem with that. And um, just a, uh, another little tip. If you want, just pop off these washers and just screw these into them so they can act like washers for this. So you can get a lot more sturdier and don't have to worry about it coming off. But let's get this done and let's put this on. So, <clears throat> so actually, uh, me and Johnny had to lift up her car in order to get the drill under there. So we just lifted it real quick and put it on jack stands. And yeah, so I'll show you guys how to start installing the garage trim. Yo, um, this is where I was meaning by just pop these out and I'll put that over there. So you're going to use this washer. Have a self-tapping screw. drill right through basically that's it and you have one with the washer so you can just start drilling it so let's start putting on the lip and yo so we got some of the side on like I said um, we just screwed it so far so it's coming out pretty good and Johnny are liking it so far it looks nice and it'll look a lot better when we're done so let's get the rest done okay yo so I'm gonna show you guys how you do it so you line it up however you like, so Johnny got it lined up, and then screw it, and so you kind of want to be careful because it's kind of hard sometimes, and that's basically all you do, and then here, I show. so again, we just screwed it, and it's right here, let me try to focus this for you guys, yeah. So we just screwed it. Um, that's basically all you do, and then after you're done, just go over it. And but I'll keep showing you guys how to do it and how to line it up for this particular this particular vehicle. So let's go. And yo, this is finished product after we screwed in all the screws. To be honest, me and Johnny really like it. We like it a lot better than the one we did on the Impreza bumper. And let me actually guys show you guys something. We actually did do this before. We did it on the sides. And then we also did rear spats ourselves. Same material. 
exact same material and we use the exact same tools. So it's really simple if you guys want to do your own um, lip for your car. Like it's super simple. It's not even hard. And if you guys want to use other material, go for it. I just recommend the, the garage trim because it's very flexible and it's very easy to put on. But what me and Johnny are going to do right now, we're actually going to go over a little bit and get the get like the hanging parts or the parts that are really like doesn't look good to us and try to perfect it a little bit so let's do that real quick and by the way um we just used scissors scissors to cut it so we actually had some leftover um, uh, I say a lot, kind of, <laughs> but yeah, and um, let's just lower the car now. It definitely made it look a tad bit lower, but Johnny is still not even low. But yeah, so we will see you guys tomorrow because it is getting late and it's actually really cold out here. So we'll see you tomorrow. And yo, what is up guys? Um, so today's Friday. Um, I have the day off of work because I requested it. <laughs> but um, we got our package in the mail today and a... It's from motherfucking sticker booth. Hell yeah. So it's not gonna let me focus because my shit kinda sucks. Oh, never mind. So yeah, let's fucking open it. <laughs> Hell yeah. And by the way, if you guys order on Fridays, they always throw in two, like free shit. So shout out sticker booth. Thank you guys for sponsoring us. Like, we appreciate that so much. So let's see. Me and Johnny ordered this a while ago. Not a while ago, a couple, what, like a week ago? Mm -hmm. And yo, my fucking initial D sticker, Night Kids. Hell yeah. So that's the one that I ordered. And then they throw in a free random bonus one, and this one's gonna be for Johnny. Ooh, Made in America. Hey! <laughs> That shit's dope, America. <laughs> and then we also did order some other shit that they threw in for free. So for everyone that's at the car meet, so you guys fucking park all stupid. Hey, I got you guys a little surprise. Hey, y'all, y'all suck at parking. This one's for y'all. This one's for everyone at the car meet that suck at parking. So hit me up, park wrong if you want to get a little thing. So yeah. And that's it. Actually, that's all me and Johnny ordered. They threw in these for free. It was, what, like six bucks? So if you guys do want to order off a of sticker boost, use our promo code. I'll put it right here and get 15% off. And that makes a difference, actually, so you can save some money. So, hell yeah. Um, we're going to go eat real quick, and then we are going to put the toe strap on. So let's go. And yo, what's up? Let's put on the Night Kid sticker. So... That shit looks so clean to me. Shout out Sticker Booth. Remember, you can get any sticker you want. Custom stickers, they do it all. So again, I'll put my promo code somewhere right here. Go hit them up. They're in Utah. They are a local company. So they are hella dope. And I love their quality of their shit. Shit sales on so nice. Goes on so easy. 
So go check that out. But what we're going to be doing right now is we're going, on, we're going to be putting on the toe strap. So let me show you guys how to do that. First thing you guys want to do when putting on the toe strap, you got to kind of figure out where you're going to put it. So um, assuming, so, for me, I'm going somewhere right here. So <clears throat> next thing you want to do is you want to take off your bumper. I already took off my little band things. So I can just pop this motherfucker off. So we positioned it where we're gonna want where we're gonna want it. Um, so me and Johnny had to kind of drill out a little bigger hole because the bolt that we got was bigger than the hole. And luckily for us, the other side is open, so this should be easy. And Johnny's gonna be tightening it because she has smaller hands. So let's see how it looks after. And yo, we got it on. We just tightened it from back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it was a 7 8. And yeah, so now we just gotta put on our bumper, put on the bumper, and see how it looks. And yo, there you go, we got it on. It was kinda hard because the bumper didn't fit right, but I got it. But that's how you install a toe strap in the front. Hell yeah. Oh yo, it started fucking snowing. Shit's gnarly. <laughs> I'm gonna pull in my car so no one slides and hits this bitch. Let's go. And what's up, guys? So it actually snowed pretty bad. It's pretty deep. My car is, say, about 10 inches of snow and it's still going until I think today it's supposed to snow all day but i hope you guys enjoyed t today's video and i hope it helped you guys out if you guys ever want to do your own lip to your car you don't have to screw holes um if you don't want to ruin your bumper um i would recommend 3m tape double-sided tape and just tape it on there it'll work as good it's just me and johnny like to make sure it's 100 percent secure and drilling holes into the bumper we didn't do that many we just did a couple but yeah so we will see you guys next time um yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you for making it to the end of the video and make sure to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys next time peace